I've got the top five accessories that all thermographers should carry with them in this week's IR Spectrum. I'll tell you what those are here in a moment, but first, the latest from ITC. Interested in attending any one of our public infrared training and certification classes? You'll find a complete calendar online at infraredtraining.com schedule. We've got a variety of dates set at convenient locations across the U.S. and Canada. And for our fellow thermographers based in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, check out irtraining.eu for the latest schedule, as well as information on how to register. So I recently polled the other ITC instructors, asking them what their thoughts and opinions were on the top five accessories that thermographers should carry with them at all times. From that, I got one possible take. Let's see what you think. Starting off at number five, a laser distance meter. Now, understanding your distance to target is critical to ensure not only that you have enough resolution for detection, but also measuring temperatures. Assuming you know your spot size ratio, this device can provide you with an estimate of how large your spot measurement may be at a given distance. Additionally, to properly compensate for the loss of infrared radiation transmission through the atmosphere when measuring temperature, you'll need to correctly set the object parameters for distance, atmospheric temperature, and relative humidity. A laser rangefinder is an easy way to at least get the distance value. Speaking of air temperature and relative humidity, every thermographer should also carry an anemometer. It's number four on our list. With this, you can also collect environmental information, which can be used to provide a historical reference in your report. These devices also capture wind speed. And while you may not be able to accurately calculate the temperature loss due to convective currents affecting the object, it will provide you with a better read on the conditions that are present during your inspection. There's probably nothing worse than either running out of power or memory while conducting an inspection. So coming in at number three on our list, extra storage. Losing either one will shut you down. That's why it's important to carry extra batteries and a spare memory card just in case. And because storage costs are so low now, there's really no excuse to not have one as a backup just in case it's needed. Number two on our list, meters. For those of you that are qualified to do electrical work, a clamp meter provides important load information that should be a part of any complete infrared report. And on the building side, a moisture meter is a must to confirm the presence of water. Something that an infrared camera can't technically do by itself, but will verify for you that if a thermal pattern you're seeing is in fact wet. Finally, in the top spot, with its high, known, and consistent emissivity, nothing beats electrical tape. If you can safely touch the target, High quality electrical tape provides us with the most accurate temperature reading. It's also what we use as a reference point to measure the emissivity values of various materials, making this the number one accessory for thermographers to carry with them at all times. So how do we do? Do you agree? Now I'm very aware that there are a couple that we might have missed which didn't make this list, so I want to hear from you. What are your top five accessories? You can leave a comment here in the fields on Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn. Let's see what you got. Speaking of which, be sure to get social with ITC. Follow us for the very latest, including information on upcoming training dates and locations, valuable tips, and a whole lot more. And if you have questions about training or you're ready to get certified, we've got a number of special offers that run throughout the year. To hear what those are and check availability, give us a call or email ITC at info at infraredtraining.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you online again soon.